all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be um general love reading okay so we'll take a look and see what's going on with you and the person on your mind i'm just gonna move these up a little bit okay um, let me guys, or let me guys know, <laughs> let me know guys if you prefer this background opposed to the wood, just in terms of seeing the readings, because I know like, I mean, so, some people are really into aesthetics and like the look of the reading too, so I'm just curious. I was thinking I might switch back to the white um, kind of background. I feel like the cards pop a little bit more on here. Okay, if you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but let's take a look and see. So what is going on with you and your person? Sorry, the camera is reversed as well right now, so the cards will be reversed, but um, I'll show you guys them upright for you to see, but the way that they're gonna be placed is facing me, okay? Um, but I'll turn them around. All right, so what's the current status of this connection? Oh yeah, sorry, so the reading that I was gonna actually do is a no communication reading, so it's gonna be a love reading, but specifically for those of you who are in separation or no communication with your person, okay? So let's take a look at the current status of this connection for those of you who are in separation or no communication with your person. It's the current status. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So it kind of makes sense because this is saying here that this is a situation that is maybe very on and off, hot and cold. Um, it's not stable, okay? So with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, there's a lack of commitment here between the two of you. All right, so let's take a look at this person's energy towards you. So the person that you're in separation with, too many cards, saw the king of wands, could be a fire sign. All right, let's see here. What's their energy towards my viewers? They're feeling regret. We have the five of cups in reverse. So I feel like this person has been feeling regret for some time and they're trying to get out of this energy. It's almost like they don't, they can't stand being in this energy, okay? Um, so whatever happened here between the two of you, they're definitely feeling regret over it. What's your energy towards them? What's your energy towards them? You're coming through as the king of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys right now might just be very focused on yourself. Some of you guys are just not committing yourself to this person. Um, maybe you're not giving them your time or your energy right now. Okay, the king of pentacles reverse can be very non-committal. All right, so I just feel like this is an energy, especially we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse as the connecting energy. So I get the sense that right now, you're not really committing yourself to this person right now. And maybe that's why they are feeling this regret because you're not giving them your energy. A lot of you guys might be focused on yourself. <laughs> okay, how do they see you? Okay, we have the Hierophant, okay? So I feel like this person sees you as someone who does want something more stable, okay? So I feel like that's also why they're feeling regret because they know that right now you're not giving them that energy, you're not giving them that committed energy, that time, but they know that you're looking for something like this. So a lot of them might be worried that you're gonna find someone um, that's gonna be able to give you what you're looking for, so they are feeling this regret, okay? Yeah, they feel like you're someone also who's very wise. Like they feel like you have a lot of understanding, a lot of spiritual knowledge with the Hierophant. Maybe you are like a teacher in some way or you uh, teach spirituality or you're just someone who's in that realm. Maybe you're, you're into Reiki or something like that. Okay, I think you're in the spiritual community or you're involved in that community. Okay, how do you see them? How do you see them? The Five of Wands. So you see this person that has brought a lot of conflict into your life. Okay, um, this could be someone who has jealous tendencies or who can um, uh, pick fights with you. Okay, five of wands. You're seeing this person who just, either they have like conflict with you or you guys have had conflict together, or you see this person as like always having conflict in their life. Like someone who um, <coughs> just seems to have a lot of like issues going on. Like they've got a lot of stuff going on with other people. Maybe they get into a lot of arguments with other people. Um, there's just a lot of issues coming up here in terms of how you see them, okay? So let's see, where is this connection heading? Where is this connection heading? Okay, I do see love being offered here. Queen of Cups, I see emotion. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, okay? I'm also, yeah, getting heavy Taurus energy here. Um, water and Earth, okay? 
but this is heading towards the Queen of Cups. So I see someone coming through with an emotional offer. I see there's emotion that will be expressed here. There will be a loving energy. Yeah, someone's deciding what they want. I don't know if this is you or your person. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So maybe if someone was confused in the past about their feelings, I'm seeing that someone's getting clarity on how they feel, what they want. And I see someone coming through with uh, more emotional or coming through with love or emotion in the near future. So this could be your person. Um, let's see, what's their likely action towards you? What's your person's likely action towards you in the near future? Yeah, the hangman. Maybe this is you guys. This person is on pause right now, okay? So like I said, this is a separation, no communication reading. I feel like this person is on pause. Let's see why the hangman is here. But we do have the 10 of cups, so interesting. This person does really feel like they could have it all with you, okay? This person might be bracing themselves though. You know how you kind of like, before something big, you kind of take a breather, you kind of take a rest and be like, whoa, wait a second, do I want this? Like, am I ready for this? Like, am I, should I go in? Like, you know, so it's like, I, the energy that I'm getting is that your person is taking a breath before they possibly commit to the situation or they're taking a breathy, breather before they're ready to like actually accept this 10 of cups. A lot of them are a little, are feeling like a little bit overwhelmed with all of this. Okay, so it could be you that makes an emotional offer. Um, it doesn't have to be. I do think someone will eventually make an emotional offer, but I do see that it's likely that your person might be stagnant right now or just taking a pause. It seems like they're kind of just, they're in their regret. This person might need to come out of this Five of Cups energy. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, see the Four of Swords. Yeah, okay. So when this, okay, what I'm getting is that when this person gets out of this energy of regret, they will start communicating again and specifically they're going to want to fix things five of swords in reverse they're going to want to heal the situation okay so let's take a look and see how are they feeling about you how do they feel about you how does your person currently feel about you uh, we've got loving but there's too many cards that came out but that was the card that came out on the top i think that one came out yesterday too Okay, so we have stressed. Oh, too many, pay too many. But we have stress though as well. I'm taking, I'm taking that into account. These cards are just so hard to pull out. Oh wow, okay, so these cards wanted to come out. Angry and panicky, okay. This person, yeah, and you know what's funny about it is you guys see them as the five of wands, which can also talk about someone who does have some anger issues. I think you do see this person as having some conflict, whether with you or in their own life, but this person does have a lot of anger, okay? But they're also panicked, so I feel like this person is kind of of two minds. It's like a lot of this anger that they have is more directed towards themselves because they are in regret, right? So you know when you regret something, um, it's almost like you internalize that anger, so a lot of them are internalizing their anger to Towards themselves but they're also um, they're also feeling really panicked and anxious about the situation I feel like they feel like they have to fix it um, some of them might be feeling like oh my gosh I need to fix it now I need to fix it soon or else I'm gonna lose this person okay because I feel like your person does know that you're looking for someone more stable in your life um, and you know you're coming through as the king of pentacles in reverse so I don't feel like you're giving that person that energy anymore so they're starting to panic about this but they're also dealing with some anger issues at the same time okay um, let's see here let's grab one more card here for your person yeah this person okay they've got some issues guys this person that you're dealing with we have judgmental here and we have loneliness, okay? I will say, I really have to say, <laughs> this person that does have some issues. Um, and I think for a lot of you guys, yeah, the bottom of the deck we do have insecurity, so that could be why they have a lot of insecurities. But I feel like a lot of you, this person has maybe judged you negatively in the past. Um, and I feel like this was coming from like maybe projection this person might have been projecting some of their pain onto you and i feel like they were very judgmental of you um but this person now is realizing like kind of um with this with this like hangman here they're getting a new perspective on things and they're realizing that 
they've done some things in this connection that have messed it up. And so now there's a lot of anger, but for some reason I feel like this is like they're really angry at themselves, but they also have all of this anxiety. So it's like a storm that's brewing within them. And on top of that, they are dealing with these like feelings of loneliness as well. So that's why I'm saying this person's got a lot of issues right now. Like they have a lot of stuff that they need to, they need to deal with. So this connection, um, this connection, especially with the Ten of Cups coming through here, clarifying the hangman from them, can be very overwhelming. Like if this is someone who typically has a lot of issues and then they see the potential for like all of this love and happiness, they might not be ready to accept this right now. Some of them are just struggling to accept this in right now because they're just used to always being anxious and angry. Um, let's see what their messages are for you. Okay, what's their message? What's their message for you? Yeah, look at that. I'm so afraid of rejection. Okay, so this person's afraid of getting rejected by you. Yeah, so they've been sabotaging this. Of course, right? I feel like this person, it's like they get overwhelmed with the potential of this that they just, they're so used to being in their anxious and angry state that they sabotage this. I'm so tired of sabotaging this connection. I just looked up and it was 11-11, so... Um, could be twin flames. We also have here, I don't feel good enough for you. Okay, that lends to the idea of like in, uh, insecurity, right? So this person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you. That's why they've been sabotaging it. Um, some of them, they're struggling with money as well. So yeah, this person's going through a lot, guys. We have here, I sent you telepathic messages. So yeah, could be a very, could be twin flames just because of like the telepathic messages. Um, could be a lot of mirroring going on here as well, but I do feel like it's telling me that with the Queen of Cups in the near future, there will be a love offer or there will be some emotion expressed between the two of you. And I do think someone's going to be getting clarity on what they want. But I will say, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, just keep in mind that they do have a lot of stuff going on. Like this person's got a lot of um, emotional uh, baggage that they're needing to deal with. But I think you guys already know that because you see them as the five of wands. So I feel like you already know this. Okay. Um, but anyways, guys, this is what I have for you today. So I truly hope that it was helpful. Um, if you want to book something personal, as always, my information is down below in the description box. All right. But I'm sending you absolute. Oh, I also have online courses and guided meditations if you are interested. Okay. But I'm sending you absolute love and light. And I wish you guys the best on your journeys. Take care.